Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Mahoning Valley Race Course here on Monday. It is November the 21st, 2016. Go look at the stakes races on today's program from Mahoning Valley, races 6 and 7. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing. Get five for more selections from racetracks around the world. Today's sixth race, first stakes race on today's program from Mahoning, is the Hollywood Gaming Mahoning Distaff purse. $75,000 for Phillies and Mayors, three year olds, and upwards. We have a field of nine horses. Is sprinting six furlongs here. This is a beginning of a pick four here. You know, I, I doubt I'm going to be playing it today, but you know, if I have some extra time, maybe I'll put a pick four ticket up on my uh, Twitter account just for fun. Uh, six furlongs is traveling here, and uh, my top selection in this spot. I'm going to go to the six to one shot. Number seven, she's a uh, Bootsy two. I'm going to go seven three eight six seven three eight six here. Number seven, she's a Bootsy's two six to one. Channing Hill for John Ortiz. Horse making his first start or her first start since uh, the Oaklawn meet back in April. April sixteenth at Oaklawn. Six furlongs in the instant racing stakes for hundred fifty thousand dollars. Source finished fourth by two and a half lengths that day at uh, six to one. You know, it didn't have the best of trips. Was a little bit parked in. Uh, you you say, you say that for harness racing, but you know, this horse just couldn't get out that day. Closed up a little bit at the end, but you know, just didn't have a really good cl uh, clear run. Um, you know, it's just a lot of traffic trouble that day. Start before at Oakland on the slop, mile 16th, March 12th in the grade 3 honeybee. This horse finished fifth by two, 22 and three quarter lengths. Um, kind of proved that day this horse is not a router and is definitely not a sloppy kind of horse. You know, it just did not take to anything that day. And then at, o at Oakland, six songs, February the 26th, an optional 6-2 claimer, nine was one. Um, the source won by one three-quarter lengths that they closed up very, very well. You know, second and third place finishers were both ne winners next start out. I think this horse, if this horse is fresh here today, I think this horse should have a good run. You know, I, I want to take my chances with this one. You know, she, uh, you know, they have a favorite here, the, um, the three horse, Regia Marina, um, who is seven to five. I really want to take away from that horse. This horse, if she's fresh, she's going to run well. She's been working out over at Keeneland's four phone workout, 49 seconds flat. 10th best workout, 24 breezing, and a 4 front workout, 49 flat again, breezing, 4th best workout, and 19 that day. So I think this horse, if she's fresh, she's going to run a good one. So to recap my bets for race number 6 from Mahoning Valley, it's the Hollywood Gaming Mahoning Distaff. Going to go with the 7 horse here. Going to do a Superfecta 7-3. Eight six seven three eight six. So now let's get on to race number seven. The seventh race. This is the big one of the. Uh, I guess the meet from Mahoney Valley. Um, it is the Steel Valley Sprint. Purse two hundred thousand dollars for three year olds. Um, we have a field of eight three year olds traveling six furlongs here on the main track at Mahoning Valley. Six furlongs. This race last year was a really good. Uh, uh, race because a lot of the horses coming out of it ran pretty well. Um, you know, six furlongs are traveling here, and uh, my top pick here. And if, if I would play a hypothetical pick four ticket, I would possibly single number three, Awesome Banner. I'm gonna go three seven five eight in the Superfecta three seven five eight. But number three, Awesome Banner. You know, eight to five. Tyler Gaffleon from Marquesa. This horse looks very hard to beat on paper. I think last time out, October the first at Gulfstream, one mile in the Florida Stallion Stakes. Of course, one by nose that day. You know. Stuck the pace, but got the lead in a stretch and really took off. You know, very nice victory. Only win by nose, but it was a very nice t uh, little victory. Um, start before in a, in a restricted Florida Stallion race, seven furlongs, Goldstream Park. Horse won by neck, just getting up there, but ran very well. You know, earlier this year, this horse was on track for the Derby. Um, you know, this horse won the Hutchinson January 2nd last year at Goldstream Park, six furlongs, and also uh, won the Swale Stakes incredibly by five lengths last uh, back in. Uh, late January, um, you know, this horse has a lot of speed, if this horse wants to use the speed and go straight to the lead and hopefully um, uh, go wide wire, I, I think this horse could do it, but he also has, a, you know, he, he doesn't have to do that, he can sit off the pace too, um, so he has a little kind, he has two different running styles here, I think he should be coming into this race fresh today, um, you know, just on paper, this horse looks very hard to beat, so to recap my bets now for race number seven from Mahoning Valley, it's a Steel Valley Sprint I'm gonna go with the three horse awesome banner. Probably my best bet the card from Mahoning. I'm gonna go three seven five eight three seven five eight. So good luck to all and follow me on Twitter at horse racing kid five. Good luck everybody.